Sir, my equipment and personal effects have been stowed in full accordance with Transport Code Section 2. If I may say so again, sir, it is truly an honor to be selected for Havoc Squad. I'm glad to have you on the team, Dorn. Thank you very much, sir. I intend to begin reviewing and memorizing all relevant dossiers and intelligence reports on our assignment immediately. If I discover any points of confusion or areas where I believe I can contribute, I'll submit a full 587B report. Forget the reports. If you want to tell me something, just tell me. If you wish, sir. Excuse me, sir. May I have a moment of your time? I've always got time, Alara. What do you need? As a condition of my service in the Republic military, personnel division requires that I report regularly on my activities. However, my Havoc Squad missions are classified and cannot be shared with personnel division. I'd like to ask if you would vouch for me when I report in. I'll be happy to help. Thank you very much, sir. We should use the ship's secure line. Captain Kalor, this is Alara Dawn, personnel number 22795, reporting in per regulation 449. Please, Alara, you don't have to give me the full rundown every time. I know who you are. How are things? Well enough, sir. Allow me to introduce you to the commander of Havoc Squad, my new CO. Sir, this is Captain Kalor, Army Personnel Division. Good to meet you, Captain. The pleasure's mine. Meeting you is a real honor. Tell me about being in the top squad in the Republic, Alara. You must be keeping very busy. I'm sorry, Captain, but you aren't authorized to know about Havoc Squad's activities. My CO will have to vouch for me from now on. What? Alara, I don't want to be a hard case, but rules are rules. This top secret junk won't fly. All Havoc Squad activities are highly classified, Captain. I'm sorry for any inconvenience. <laughs> inconvenience? Just... just carry on, Alara. We'll talk about this after I've had a word with my superiors. Kalor out. Hmm. I wasn't expecting him to react so strongly. Surely he didn't expect me to report on classified information. Protecting classified information is a top priority. Yes, sir. I'm surprised the captain didn't agree. If you'll excuse me, sir, I have several matters to attend to. Thank you for your time. Sir, I... I feel I owe you an apology. After we spoke with Captain Kalor, I was unnecessarily curt with you. You've been very supportive. That hasn't always been the case with Republic personnel I've dealt with since defecting. I wouldn't be much of a CO if I didn't watch out for my people. It's greatly appreciated, sir. People distrust me as soon as I speak. They only hear my accent. Even when I'm not a potential spy, I'm a resource. Endless questions about Imperial culture, personnel, military procedures. It's exhausting. You're a good soldier, Dorn. Don't worry about what other people expect. Thank you, sir. I really don't complain by nature. Mistrust and inconvenience are a small price to pay for a clear conscience. I don't regret defecting to the Republic at all. Despite my past, I was allowed to join the military, earn commendations and serve in the Republic's most elite squad. I'm very fortunate. The Republic is lucky to have you. Thank you. I'm very proud to be here. So, I wondered if I might ask, uh personal question about the former Havoc Squad members' defection? What was it like to have your commander and comrades join the enemy? How did you feel? I would have torn them apart with my bare hands if I could have. An understandable reaction. I've always wondered how my family took the news of my defection. It must have been difficult for them to understand. Your family is still in the Empire? Oh yes. The Dawns are very proud of their history within the Empire. Members of the Dawn family have served with distinction in the Imperial military for generations. It's an important family tradition. It isn't easy to reach prominence in the Empire with no aptitude for the Force, but my family did it. I hope they're all still well. It can't be easy to fight against your family's side. It is a consequence I accepted when I chose to defect. I don't give it a second thought. If I may say so, sir. You've had quite an impressive career. You're the commander of the most elite squad in the entire Republic. You must be quite proud. Serving in Havoc Squad has been the greatest honor of my career. I remember when I first enlisted and qualified for medical specialization. My brother Alexei completed his technical specialization on the same day. We were both proud to finally serve in the Imperial military. My brother advanced quickly, but 
I became disillusioned as time went on. Why did you become disillusioned? The Imperial military was supposed to stand for honor and discipline, but my superiors discarded those concepts any time a Sith asked it. I'd always been taught that the Jedi and the Republic were genocidal hypocrites, but the only brutalities I witnessed were committed by my own comrades. I'm sure it wasn't easy to learn the truth like that. I have always preferred difficult truths to easy lies. I raised my concerns with my superiors, but they only questioned my resolve. Soon, I would have been forced to prove my loyalty by carrying out orders directly against my conscience. I chose to defect instead. Did you have any trouble getting away from the rest of your unit? I had noted numerous inefficiencies in our assigned patrol routes. I simply took advantage of one of them to escape. I surrendered to the first Republic patrol I came across and declared my intention to defect. That was over three years ago. It's strange to realize how long it's been. The Republic truly feels like my home now. Sir, I need to speak to you immediately. I've received a strange hollow message that appears to bear Imperial signal codes. I haven't watched it yet. I wanted you present to supervise and confirm that I'm not engaged in secret communications with Imperial personnel. We better watch it immediately. Yes, sir. I'll load it now. Laura, it's me, Alexei. I... I hope you're well. It's been a long time. Alexei? Sir, this message is from my brother. I don't know what to say. I know this must be hard for you. It's more surprising than anything. I... I honestly never thought I'd see his face again. I'm sorry to contact you like this, but I need your help. My men and I... We're as good as dead. We're on Nar Shaddaa. We were caught tampering with one of the Hut's operations. We never dreamed the slugs would have so much security. These Hut's are Imperial allies, Alara. There is no rescue team. We'll be disavowed and left to die. Please. You're my only hope now. How do we know Alexei isn't leading us into a trap? We should proceed with caution. But I don't believe my brother is lying to us. I believe I can bring him to our side. I know my brother better than anyone. I can convince him to defect. Perhaps it's best if I see to this matter alone, sir. Alexei will be much easier to convince if he doesn't feel outnumbered. If you can bring him in willingly, then all the better. Coordinates are included at the end of the message. I'll prep my gear for search and rescue. The operation was a complete success, sir. Per code 23 of the Enemy Interaction Guidelines, Alexei officially defected to the Galactic Republic. Given the circumstances, we didn't have much time to catch up, but I have my brother back. Thank you for allowing me to help him. I'm happy to hear that everything worked out. Hopefully Personnel Division will allow me to stay in contact with Alexei. Not privately, of course, and help guide him through the defection process. I should start compiling notes for him. Thanks again, sir. Sir, I'm sorry to bother you, but I've received a troubling message from Captain Kalor, my supervisory officer from Personnel Division. He ordered me to contact him immediately. I hoped you could join me for the conversation. I'd be glad to. Thank you very much, sir. I'll raise him on the hollow now. Captain Kalor, this is Alara Dawn, personnel number 22795, reporting in per your request. Always the whole mess, every time. <laughs> Anyway, yes, thank you for returning my call, Alara. It's about this whole situation with your brother. You did a great job, obviously, but people are starting to think you have more information than you're sharing. We got a lead and Alara acted on it. End of story. Maybe, maybe not. Alara, if you have information you'd like to share, I think this would be a good time for you to come in. I appreciate the offer, but I have no further information of value to you. Suit yourself. I have work to do. Kalor out. He's still demanding more. After everything I've done, what do I have to do to prove myself? You're a good soldier, Alara. You've got nothing to prove. Thank you, sir. But I think it's clear that some people don't feel the same way. Let's just get back to work. I'd rather focus on something else for a while. Sir, I need your approval to requisition some supplies for my medical kit. I've categorized the items by relative priority. Everything fits within our allotment under Supply Code 18, but items near the bottom of the list can wait if necessary. 
You know what you're doing, Dorn. Request approved. Thank you. I'll have this submitted immediately. We're fortunate to be serving in special forces. We get priority when requesting supplies like these. I've heard that regular army units must now wait several weeks to receive high demand items. Increased hostilities are taking their toll. If we don't get hurt, we won't need to use medical supplies. I'll still keep us fully stocked, just in case. Thank you, sir. I'm still quite concerned about Captain Kalor and his accusations, sir. If Personnel Division thinks I'm withholding information about the Empire, they can continue hounding me under Security Regulation 15. I think if men like Kalor had their way, I'd be locked in a room reciting the minutiae of Imperial culture until the end of time. I won't let them do that to you, Alara. Thank you. I truly appreciate everything you do for me. I do sometimes wonder if I'm being unfair, though. I'm one of the only people in the Republic with extensive knowledge of Imperial culture. Perhaps I have a responsibility to do what few others can, even if it's not what I'd like to be doing. You shouldn't be forced to do anything. I'm glad I'm not the only one who feels that way. I appreciate you taking the time to discuss this with me, sir. I'll leave you to your other duties. I'm afraid I have another requisition form that requires your attention, sir. Our shipboard rations have fallen somewhat below the levels outlined in Code 18, and the Quartermaster Corps restocking estimate is currently nine weeks. As an alternative, I'd like to supplement our food stores with products from public sources. Real food, as Jorgen would say, but commanding officer approval is required. It can't hurt to mix up the menu a bit. Make it happen. I'll have us back to standard stock levels in no time. Thank you for your time, sir. Sir, I need to speak with you urgently. It's Captain Kalor. He's trying to open a formal inquiry into my status as a defector. If it proceeds, I could be pulled from active duty. I'm not losing you to some desk jockey. Let's hope not, sir. Kalor's message said that testimony from a civilian security officer on Taris forced him to proceed with the inquiry. The officer's name is Raiden. He temporarily commanded my squad during a Republic Senator's visit. The Senator was killed, and Raidu is blaming me for the mistakes he made. What happened? Rat ghouls? Correct. Security details were far below required strength. Raidu didn't wish to portray Taris as a dangerous place. Fool. I need to speak to Raidu on Taris. I have a right to face my accuser, and I intend to do so. I'd best set out and deal with this right away. The sooner the matter is settled, the better our chances of avoiding Kalor's inquiry. Sir, I'm pleased to report that my plan to confront Raidu was a success. When faced with the extensive contradictory documentation I'd prepared on the matter, he admitted to misremembering certain key facts, and will now testify appropriately. Glad you were able to turn the situation around. So am I. An actual hearing would have held me away from my duties for months, at the very least. <laughs> we seem to have an incoming holocaul. Dorn, this is Kalor. What's going on here? I just got word from Raidu that he's recanting his testimony. That's news to us, Captain. Don't play games with me. I used to think you were cooperating with us, Alara. But you're hiding something, and I will find out what. I followed every rule, shared everything I know. Why does this continue? That moron is dragging this out for no reason. I suppose he feels he's simply doing his duty. Speaking of which, we should really get back to our own. Thanks again for your help. Sir, I have excellent news. I've secured permission for us to use Form 859-RA for our after-action reports, instead of the older 859-R. That's definitely really exciting, Alara. A one-sixth reduction in form completion time. This should result in a cumulative time savings of more than 90 minutes within four weeks. It should be quite pleasant. We've been through quite a bit, haven't we, sir? Since I joined Havoc Squad, I've seen more combat and performed more medical treatments than in my entire career beforehand. I've learned a great deal. I'm glad you're getting some good experience here. First-hand experience is always the best. I couldn't be prouder to be a part of Havoc Squad. I'm serving the Republic and becoming a better soldier and medic every day. And I have you to thank for it all. 
Most officers would never have given me this chance, but you did. Thank you. You earned it, Alara. Nothing more to be said. Oh, there can be quite a distance from earning something to receiving it. I owe you my gratitude. Enough talk. Let's put some of this experience to work, shall we? Sir, there is a very important matter that requires your immediate attention. Kazi Brandy, aged 30 years. One of the few personal effects I brought with me when I defected. I waged a veritable war to have it returned once my legal status was established. It's all but impossible to find in Republic space. I want you to have it. I'm speechless, Ilara. Thank you very much. You've been a fine commander and a very good friend to me. A token of appreciation seemed quite overdue. Don't hesitate to share if you should decide to open it. Sir, I was wondering if you've received any messages from Captain Kalor recently. I've not heard anything since the situation with Raidu. I'm a bit concerned, to be honest. I guess Kalor finally gave up his idiotic crusade. The man is determined. I can't believe he's given up. I attempted to contact him for my standard activity report, but I was told that he's out of the office on an important assignment. I can't help but wonder if I'm a part of that assignment. I don't look forward to finding out. Whatever Kalor does, we'll deal with it. We have enough to deal with as it is. I shouldn't be thinking about problems that may not exist. Sorry to trouble you, sir. Let's just get back to work. Sir, I was just going over a research article I've been writing for the Armed Forces Medical Science Journal. I'm... Well, I'm a bit nervous about it, actually. I've never had an article published in the journal. It's quite prestigious. I've never seen you do a bad job at anything, Elara. Your article's sure to impress them. I appreciate the vote of confidence. I may not hear back for some time. There's quite a bit of writing in the medical field at the moment. One of the side effects of wartime. I'll just have to wait and see. Sir, I'm afraid I need to request a brief leave of absence. It's Kalor. He's attempting to exploit a loophole in Investigative Appeals Process Subsection 4 in order to reopen his inquiry without new cause. I think it's time to introduce that scumbag to the roomier end of an airlock. That won't be necessary. I'm not going to give Kalor the time to carry his supposed investigation any further. I'm going to Coruscant. I have every message, every report, every call recorded. It's time to demonstrate to Kalor's superiors exactly what his supposed service to the Republic has accomplished. I'll come with you. With my word backing you up, you can't fail. You're very kind to offer, sir, but I need to handle this myself. Bringing a war hero along would seem like a diversionary tactic. I'll return as quickly as possible. Sir, I am ordered to report that I, Alara Dawn, personnel number 22795, am no longer classified as a person of concern. The personnel division of the Army of the Galactic Republic has declared that I am to be treated as a fully protected legal citizen, effective immediately. You beat him, Alara. You're free. That I am, sir. Kalor never saw it coming. When I exercised my right under Service Code 1 to an immediate personnel hearing, he was literally speechless. I demonstrated documentation for every moment of his pointless investigation. Once the man hours and expenditures were totaled, it came to thousands of credits wasted in wartime. I assume Kalor won't be working for Personnel Division anymore? I'm not privy to his employment status, but I suspect you're right. I still can't believe this day has finally come. The suspicion, the reservations, the endless questions. They've been a part of my life for so long, but no more. I am a citizen of the Galactic Republic. It's great to see this happening for you. Thank you so much. I've never felt prouder to be serving the Republic. Let's return to the front lines. I want to go back to doing my part. Time to get this ship moving. I'll prepare my equipment, sir. Sir! The journal published my article. I've already received dozens of hollow messages from medical officers and units across the galaxy. I never expected such a positive reaction. I doubt anyone will be throwing accusations at you now. I hadn't even thought of it that way. I'm a 
I'd never have learned so much if you hadn't brought me onto the squad. I really owe you a tremendous debt, sir. Thank you. Truly. Tell me, sir. Do you think you'll have children someday? I can only imagine the young soldiers and commanders you would raise. Future defenders of the Republic, one and all. I'd be proud to see my kids serve the Republic. Certainly. I could even tutor them for you. Medicine, biology, Republic and military legal terminology. I'd appreciate it, Alara. You've been a true friend to me. I'd be more than happy to return the favor in the future. Anyway, we have plenty of work to do in the here and now. Let's get to it. <laughs>